Hey guys, um, today I'd like to talk about VR uh, in sim racing uh, because I've been hearing a lot of things like um, it's too pixelated, can't see signs, can't read a lot of stuff in distance, uh, it's too blurry and uh, things like that and, uh, and it's not quite as it sounds because there are a few things that you could do to improve the resolution and uh, and also make um, the image a lot clearer and uh, to begin with I'll start with a couple videos that I try to shoot uh, within um, directly within my headset like I just pointed my camera into the headset and um, the first video is obviously um, in uh, it's in the GTE Ferrari and it's Imola and um, like these things obviously you don't see uh, like this net it's it's pretty much it's really difficult to focus camera while you know like trying to film within the VR headset because first of all I was using my phone and it's a six inch phone and it's really difficult to stick it in <laughs> into the uh, headset and um, and capture the right focus but like I paused the video here and you can clearly see that the numbers and everything is pretty much crystal within the headset it's a lot a lot more clearer than in the video like I said it's really difficult to uh, focus the camera you know on, on those small screens and I tried my best here and obviously like I said like this thing these nets that's not there so the image is a lot clearer than you can see in this video like and obviously this flashing black you know frames it's also not there because i've been filming this video with a 60 frame um 60 frames per second camera and um and it's just capturing those frames that are running here you know at 90 90 fps and uh you can clearly see that you know the image is not as that bad as you know some people you know say like oh it's too pixelated and everything you can see that there's a nice anti-aliasing here there's no you know pixelation going on like it's it's pretty much clear yes it's a little bit you know in the video you can see it's a little bit blurry but again like I said it's very very difficult to focus camera but even though you know it looks pretty much clear and you can I'll just pause here you can see these signs perfectly fine fine and within the headset it looks a lot a lot more clearer than than obviously from you know from from this video and uh, I tried also to film at 30 frames per second obviously there's still this these lines black lines going on here but uh, you can see that it's not you know flashing or anything it's pretty much clear like you can there's no pixelation going here on the sign the numbers here again are very clear to read like again this here fuel right I can when I'm in the headset I can read it a lot clear cleaner you know like it's it's crystal clear to me when I when I wear a headset and um, and yeah like I don't see like any pixelation going on here it's pretty much you know like what you get almost on the I would say 1440p uh, monitor pretty much and uh, the settings I'm running here are pretty much the game like this is iRacing and iRacing is pretty much maxed out except a few things that I turned off like um, you know crowd and you know stuff like that that is really unnecessary to see uh, to give that um, uh, to to reach that 90 FPS uh, uh, stability uh, and make uh, you know the game run smoother in VR because the VR actually requires a lot of power to run pretty much any game and uh, it like I would say GTX 1070 is the minimum 
that I would recommend for the VR below you could run like games in below but with a lot less uh, uh, details and um, but if you want fully experience VR you know at, at its beauty like look it's clean here except you know these uh, frames you know flashing uh, coming from the effect of the camera and um, like you can see that the lines are straight there's no anti-aliasing like there's no aliasing here going on like it's very clean and looks pretty cool actually within the headset itself like it gives that immersion that you're actually sitting in a car rather than you know in your room and uh, looking at the monitors and um, and uh, and this is only you know the this is only the oculus cv1 which is the first gen you know uh vr i would say because well publicly first like obviously they had you know developments develop uh, development uh, versions and stuff like that but uh it's 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 very clean like i would say and the things you need to do um to make to achieve these results is for example for pretty much pretty much for any game for any sim racing game like it would be uh, you go to your uh, drivers you know like for example Nvidia control panel if you have uh, Nvidia card and I guess AMD has pretty much the same thing so you just go to program settings instead of global and uh, find the game you know you want to tweak and make sure first thing is make sure that multi-frame sampling is running MFAA turn it on it's especially for uh, important for like games like project cars because like if you don't turn turn this on your screen will be like your image will be a lot more pixelated than than anything like even if you set the aliasing within the game to high it's still gonna look very pixelated so you can set pretty much um, for example in project cars you can set the aliasing to low and enable MFA with the drivers what MFA does it doubles the quality of anti-aliasing and it actually runs better than MSA for the performance let's say if you set like on low within the project cars which is probably times two uh, msaa so mfa uh, makes it times four but for the cost of times two performance so so you're not sacrificing too much performance here as well uh, so it's very beneficial to you know turn the mfa on and make sure that FXA in any games you play like FXA is turned off like even in iRacing they they use FXA uh, where is iRacing uh, uh, no that's joining me iRacing right I turned it off here and also if you go to the render any file within which is within the documents and iRacing uh, you will find here also settings like FXA you just simply turn it off by putting zero here then another thing you could play around is um, like pixels per display which is super sampling for iRacing I run 1.4 uh, if I go higher than GTX 1070 struggles a little bit to run at 1.5 and above uh, so I run at 1.4 sometimes I lower for some tracks at 1.3 but the difference between 1.3 and 1.4 is so unnoticeable that uh, uh, I could pretty much run this at 1.3 and still have the same you know quality and resolution um, for project cars for example I wouldn't recommend to use uh, any sort of super sampling because it simply doesn't work I tried all kinds of settings like changing uh, also changing the any files you know like here 
um, like Oculus settings. I tried through here. I tried Steam VR. I tried um, changing, you know, super sampling within the game, like and uh, running, you know, uh, Oculus Rift uh, Dev tools and stuff like that. And it just, just simply doesn't make the image look better. It actually makes the image look worse by making some objects in the distance shimmering. So I run project cars, for example, I run uh, super sampling at 1.0, which is default. And I simply use, uh, like I said, a a MSA and I turn on MFA, which makes a huge difference in terms of like uh, how the image looks. And it looks pretty crystal clear. And um, you could, if you look on my channel, there's a uh, unoptimal settings for project cars 2 that I posted uh, a few months ago and uh, pretty much what you see in the video is what you get in the headset except that you know you get some some sort of small screen door effect which is so unnoticeable as you saw in the in those videos that I just you know um, showed a couple minutes ago and um, yeah, like if you follow these things, you know, uh, then you can pretty much uh, make any game look a lot better uh, in VR. And also for the set of course, it's the same concept. Like you turn on MFA, and in the any file, uh, in the settings file, um, you can it was somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere hidden here was also Oculus and uh, Steam VR or something like that. I just don't remember where was it. Anyways, so within that file, you can also specify the super sampling, and super sampling works in Assetto Corsa. Uh, it's the same concept as in iRacing. The, the both games are pretty much well optimized for uh, super sampling and uh, and um, anti-aliasing. Um, so, with that said, I could go back to iRacing settings. That one more thing that I'd like to point out for iRacers who use VR headset is um, it's pretty much the only sim racing game that has sharpening. Sharpening. There's this setting within the ini file uh, sharpening sharpening amount which currently I have set to 200 and the max is 300 so the higher you go the sharper the image becomes but it also requires a lot more horsepower to run to render all those uh, you know frames so I found that 200 is pretty much optimal but and I didn't see too much of a difference between 200 and 300 so I just left it at 200 and uh, it looks pretty sharp um, so that's another thing that is pretty good in terms of eye racing like that's the only sim racing game that actually has this feature and they and they I think they added this feature like about seven or eight months ago um, so so yeah I guess this is helpful for those who are either still considering uh, VR for sim racing or they have but they couldn't you know figure out settings how to improve it so I guess I hope that uh, these tips will help you improve the image quality and make the game run at 90 FPS which is very crucial actually for um, for VR because like as soon as it dips down to 45 it becomes a little bit you know choppy and um, even though you know ASW makes it you know locks the FPS at 45 it still looks too choppy and um, it's ra it's better actually to lower some settings to sacrifice some graphical settings to just to make sure that you run the game at 90 FPS and uh, yeah and I hope this helps to enjoy the VR even more